Jonas and Felix love you now. The two 13-year-olds from Cologne regularly stream live. They talk about school, for example, and answer questions from their viewers, most of whom seem to be about their age. OK, we're live and happy to answer questions. Yasmina says, yippee, you're live. Yeah, it's been a while. We'll write a post so everyone knows. Jonas, you stink. I think you now is a perfect platform for streaming. Now and then you get people saying you suck. But then there's this great block function. Operating the website is easy. All the two need is a computer with a webcam or a smartphone. The live stream is linked to a live chat where viewers can write comments. If someone wrote that they want me to dance or something, I wouldn't do that. But if they wanted to know about a post I like or my favorite singer, that wouldn't be a problem. If viewers find you interesting, your fan following grows and you get bombarded with compliments. The most watched you nowers are shown as trending people. It's a kind of popularity rating. So there's like charts. Everyone in Germany or under the hashtag German is in the register. Right now we're in fifth place. But the adoration from unknown users can be dangerous, especially for girls. Some viewers clearly have an alternative agenda. Show me your bra, says one. Or do you reveal more of yourself after 8 p.m.? Or simply, show me more skin. If the girls comply, they get more likes, which in turn causes more people to tune in. A dangerous game, says Jürgen Brautmeier from Germany's Commission for Protection of Minors in the Media. There are pedophiles out there surfing the net. For them, this offers undreamt of opportunities that weren't there in the past. And so it's dangerous. Concerted action is needed to stop it. Jonas and Felix are aware of the potential pitfalls. Some people just reveal everything about themselves. So pedophile men know just where they're going to be at this or that bus stop or whatever. Parents can't always monitor everything their children get up to online. So Jonas's mother believes it's important for children to be made aware of the dangers. I trust my son. We've talked about these things often. And I think he's aware of the risks. But I also think that children need to gain experience, even if it's bitter experience sometimes. Still, I wouldn't recommend it for younger children. In theory, users are supposed to be at least 13 on you now, but there are no age checks when you log in. The platform is especially popular in Germany and the US. User numbers have skyrocketed. In January alone, German users contributed 16 million live streams. The distributor of this app obviously has a huge responsibility. There need to be moderators monitoring content. And I don't mean spot checks, but really intensive monitoring. They have to do that. Jonas and Felix say they know exactly what they want the world to know and what not. You've got to be more careful with a live stream than a film, which you can edit later. But not everyone is as clued in as they are. Until you now employs more monitors, users should be on their guard. Schiff says, be careful about what you reveal. 